The development of oral peptides marks the beginning of a new era in the field of drug development. Greetings, everyone. Today we will be diving into an exciting subject, the groundbreaking technique devised by EPFL researchers for producing cyclic peptides that can be taken orally. This development has the potential to open up new avenues in the field of drug development. By focusing on the enzyme thrombin, they successfully created a diverse range of cyclic peptides that exhibit enhanced stability when administered orally. These peptides demonstrated a remarkable affinity for thrombin and when tested on rats exhibited an impressive oral bioavailability of up to 18%. This represents a significant advancement compared to conventional peptide drugs. The implications of this innovation are immense, as it has the potential to revolutionize the treatment of diseases that pose challenges in terms of targeting. Without any further delay, let us begin our discussion. The pharmaceutical industry has faced a persistent obstacle in the development of drugs, but researchers from EPFL's laboratory, led by Professor Christian Heines, have made a groundbreaking advancement in this field. Their recent study, published in Nature Chemical Biology, marks a major milestone by introducing a novel category of drugs that can be taken orally. This achievement paves the way for new possibilities in drug development. According to Heinis, there exists a multitude of diseases where the specific targets have been identified, yet the development of drugs that can effectively bind to and reach these targets has proven to be elusive. The majority of these diseases fall under the category of cancer, with numerous targets within these cancers being protein-protein interactions that play a crucial role in tumour growth but cannot be effectively suppressed. The research centred its attention on cyclic peptides, which are highly adaptable compounds renowned for their exceptional ability to bind to complex disease targets with great precision. However, the endeavour to transform cyclic peptides into oral medications has encountered obstacles due to their susceptibility to rapid digestion or limited absorption within the gastrointestinal system. Heinis explains that cyclic peptides have garnered significant attention in the field of drug development due to their ability to bind to challenging targets that traditional methods struggle to address. However, their limited oral administration as a pill greatly restricts their potential applications. In order to prevent and treat thrombotic disorders such as strokes and heart attacks, the research team focused their efforts on the enzyme thrombin, recognizing its crucial role in blood coagulation and its significance as a key disease target. In order to produce stable cyclic peptides capable of targeting thrombin, the researchers devised a two-step combinatorial synthesis approach, enabling them to generate a large collection of cyclical peptides containing theoether bonds. These bonds enhance the metabolic stability of the peptides when administered orally. According to Heinis, the team has achieved a significant breakthrough by creating cyclic peptides that not only have the ability to bind to a specific disease target, but can also be taken orally. This accomplishment was made possible through the development of a novel approach that involves the synthesis of thousands of small cyclic peptides with random sequences on a nanoscale. These peptides are then subjected to a high throughput screening process, all within a single reactive container, which chemists commonly refer to as one pot. This innovative method consists of two distinct steps, both of which occur in the same container. To begin, linear peptides are synthesized and subsequently subjected to a chemical process that involves the formation of a ring-like structure, known as cyclization. This process utilizes bis-electrophilic linkers, which are chemical compounds employed to establish stable theoether bonds between two molecular groups. During the second phase, the cyclized peptides undergo acylation, which involves the attachment of carboxylic acids to them, thereby increasing the diversity of their molecular structure. By eliminating the requirement for intermediate purification stages, this technique enables high throughput screening to take place directly in the synthesis plates, effectively merging the synthesis and screening of numerous peptides. The goal is to identify potential candidates that exhibit a strong affinity for specific disease targets, with thrombin being the focus in this particular case. Under the guidance of Manuel Mertz, the PhD student in charge of the project, 
A comprehensive collection of 8,448 cyclic peptides was successfully created using the mentioned method. These peptides have an average molecular mass of approximately 650 Daltons, Da, which is slightly higher than the recommended limit of 500 DA for small molecules intended for oral availability. Thrombin was found to have a strong attraction towards the cyclic peptides. The peptides, when subjected to testing on rats, exhibited an oral bioavailability of up to 18%. This signifies that when the cyclic peptide medication is consumed orally, approximately 18% of it effectively enters the bloodstream, thereby producing the desired therapeutic effect. It is worth noting that the typical bioavailability of orally administered cyclic peptides falls below 2%. Therefore, the achievement of an 18% bioavailability represents a significant advancement for biologic drugs, including peptides. The team's breakthrough in enabling the oral availability of cyclic peptides opens up new avenues for treating a variety of diseases that have previously posed challenges for conventional oral medications. Moreover, the versatility of this method allows for its adaptation to target a wide range of proteins, potentially leading to groundbreaking advancements in areas where current medical needs remain unmet. Manuel Mertz suggests that in order to tackle more difficult disease targets, such as protein-protein interactions, it may be necessary to synthesize and analyze larger libraries. By automating additional aspects of the process, it appears feasible to create libraries containing over one million molecules. For the upcoming phase of this endeavor, the scientists will direct their focus towards a selection of intracellular protein-protein interactions that have proven challenging to inhibit using traditional small molecules. They possess a strong belief that orally administrable cyclic peptides can be formulated for a portion, if not all, of these targets. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.